Hey up everybody. Okay then I'm on part two then in my uh, modification to this uh, I think it's an obsolete hub. It's a Dutch it's a Dutch make I think. It's come from a from a complete bike and it's called a top run. And uh, as I explained in part one, if you've not if you've not seen part one you'll have to go and catch up on part one. But I'm just over it machines now on my lathe and my miller machine, modifying it to make it from a rear wheel drive into a front wheel drive. I've done away with the controller, the integral controller that was in the hub, and I'm gonna put a standalone controller on it so I can put it in my mountain bike. I'll take you over to the lathe then. Okay then I've got the uh, rotor set up in my, in my lathe I'm holding it between centres and I've got to extend this thread from this position up to this position because eventually this will be cut off to bring me overall length that I need to fit in a front hub instead of a rear hub I've moved over to the milling machine now. I've got both my threads cut on both sides and I'm just going to reproduce this um, this flat on both sides up to where it comes to in the forks and then when I've done that on both sides on each end I'll be cutting them off to a suitable length to fit for the size for my forks and it's 100 mil uh, drop out. And also on this end, I've got to put a groove in for the wire that's going to bring my hall sensors out, just identical to what's on the other side where the wire comes out for the phasers.
I've got to fit this bearing on and see if these wires will go on underneath that bearing. Yeah, it looks like they, that's going to be fine. So I've just got to knock the bearing onto the journal now. It's only got to go on approximately 10 mil, and there's enough room to get my wires on underneath. And then I've got to couple these up to these hall sensor wires that are under here. Them five wires. You've got a positive and a negative going to each of the hall sensors. And then you've got your switching wires, yellow, green and blue, five wires to couple up. So before I do all that then, I'm going to cut this shaft down to size now. I've done some working out on my width because I'm changing this from a rear hub to a front hub. So I've got to chop the actual spindle down approximately 30 mil on each side then when I've got the end caps fitted onto the motor the original sleeve that protects the wires that goes in there I've got to modify modify this to a shorter length to accommodate my 100 mil dropout on my forks Completed all the machining now and I'm ready for soldering my hall sensor wires onto the hall sensors. So on the control board here you've got your, your brown and your black as your positive and your negative. And they're bridged on that little bridging board. One going to each hall sen sensor. So I've only got two wires to solder but they actually go into three hall, three hall sensors, the positive and the negative. Then you've got your signal wires, blue, yellow and green. And what I've done then, uh, I've cleaned them with some brake cleaner just to degrease all the wires. I've, I've tinned all the ends of the wires to prepare them. Uh, I've put some flux on, some regular flux. And I'm now ready for attempting to solder these wires on. And I've put some shrinking tubing over the wires just to insulate the wires when I've finished. So that's my main fa three phase wires <coughs> and that's going to be my whole sensor wire now on that side and I'm just going to hot glue them wires to the centre of the rotor and then it's ready for assembling. Uh, I'll probably assemble it then on the next part then uh, get it all assembled up and into the wheel and we'll have a trial run.